Time to tune it. Oh shit, this is sketch. going to install the tune the M4 tune on on the new Lexus today so yeah this is how to do it with M4 new power gate if you did order the power gate basically you'll have this you could change the stock whenever you want or you could just run the tune M4 does give you some stickers in the box the power gate right here low touch screen device the only cable we need right now is the OBD2 scanner cable. We'll just plug this cable down here in the OBD2 port. Plug in the power gate. This little port right there. Uh, and also one thing to keep in mind, I do have a battery charger hooked up to the battery right now. Uh, it is good to have that plugged in for the duration of the tune file being downloaded onto here. Put it accessory mode. All right, so we click on tuning. And then you select your vehicle. So for mine, it'll be Lexus. Okay, and then we select the model of the car. So have IS. We'll hit OK to start reading the ECU. Now you don't want to interrupt this process because you don't want your ECU to lock. Um, but I will say this power gate has made this a lot easier. So see, reading complete, switch ignition off, and disconnect m for power gate. Switch it off. Okay, now we can disconnect this, bring it to the computer, send Mforce the file, and um, within a day or so, Mforce should send me the uh, the tune file, and then we can do the same thing, but instead of downloading it, it'll say uploading to the ECU. That might take a little bit longer, but this makes the job a lot easier. So basically, you wait till Mforce sends you the revised tune. You download it from the email that they send to you, then they remote into your computer, they download it, set it all up for you, and install it on this little thing. Then you just plug this up to your OBD2 for, uh, port, and um, yeah, they video call you. Uh, they walk you through the whole process. They make it very easy. Green? Yep, then turn the car ignition off. Disconnect. Uh, now you can, yeah, unplug the OBD. Yeah, that was that was louder. Like <laughs> yeah, it's much easier to control when you're driving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, I recommend you to do the road test. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be nuts. All right, guys, let's go take it for a spin. Oh my god, this is sketch. Not really sketch, cause I had this on my 250, but it's like, wow, that was loud. He said after 3,000 let off, that's where you get the pops. After 5,000, which is getting closer to red line, that's when you get the flame. I'll let this person go. We'll put it in shift mode.
Good loud. No, good loud. Like, look, let me let me see if I can give you a little demo. Force. I got the R racing tune instead. No, I'm just playing. We didn't get there tune. But let's just say that um, this this cheap little little plastic intake tube, um, yeah, it kind of looks like crap. So, and it's kind of small. Some other reasons, but we got to get that out of there. So Gabe has no idea what this looks like. At least I don't think he does. What do you think it looks like, Gabe? The box. Just, just knowing me, like, what would it look like? Carbon fibre. That's a metal tube. Yeah, I might have a little bit of carbon fibre on there. Oh, damn, I was... <laughs> I know you too well. Oh, baby, you're so tight. No, no, I'm not putting that in there. Blooper reel. Now it's bright. All right, so... Got you had it on backwards. Yeah, so he's that's on. Our YouTuber. This is on. So it says 70, 89 mil on the little bracket. Put that on the air air filter box. On this one, put the smaller end. Are you showing? On this one, put the smaller end on um, on the throttle body. Yeah, that's not you shoved it on there. Obviously not if it's still on. Alright, so we got so we found a universal hose. Um yeah, the game. Cheers. So we gotta take off the valve covers in order to get to the gaskets because the gaskets are leaking. I'm not sure if y'all can see it down there. Yeah, well the gaskets are leaking down there. So um, but we're gonna hurry up and take all this stuff apart. Um, hopefully it's not too hard. 
hopefully Lexus is being nice to us and making it <laughs> not as difficult, but it's a lot of stuff on top of that engine that we gotta take off. Sure. So yeah. Good luck. Good luck, Rashawn. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we got the intake manifold off. So just looking down here, it's a little bit has a little bit of um, oil sediments. My fingers bleeding. Now. Oh, I see it. <laughs> so we guys still gotta take. I think we gotta still take this off. Unless we just straight, get straight into this. Yeah, I don't think we have to uh, mess with the fuel rails or the, the... We don't have to deal with any of that. Okay, so we just got to take this... Uh, the valve covers. The, just yeah. got to take these valve covers off, but we also have a couple harnesses. We still got to get out of the way and these little... Uh, yeah, I got to take the coils. Got to take the coil, coils off and everything. So, yeah. And then we got to replace some parts because I want to break stuff. So, what would you break? Was it? Oh, was this one? This little clip right here. Yeah. Poor little clip. Man, I gotta clean. I'm gonna clean this out in a little bit. Whenever we get everything prepared, or whenever we get all this off. Today's the day. Thing's pretty. It's got some weight to it. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Look at those. Some nice tips. Ooh, I like the welds, bro. That's how you know Cisco didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say little snowmans. <laughs> They're not the best. You know what? They'll hold. How did I get two and you like, oh, okay, be careful when the, when the thing comes down. Did you get that on video? Do not connect this until to that until you have it all buttoned up on the, on the hangers and everything. You know what, we should just start it up right now. Yeah, I kind of want to hear it. So hangers for the muffler go in first, and then we can attach this. Oh, slip. slip gate. Slip gate. What was that? Nixon scandal. Watergate. Mm-hmm. Got it. Turn it on. Don't right. it because it'll be right here. Okay. First start up. Just gonna check for any leaks. to go sideways how bad this traction issue is what a little straightaway shot 
That is terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Oh, that that brought back flashbacks from Lexi. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can notice that, but yeah, we're losing traction like crazy over here. We made it to discount tire, got my little receipt, and we're gonna get her loaded up over there. And um, yeah, I didn't tell y'all what tires I got, it's 255. I could've went 265, but I decided to just stick with 255. And I went with the Nitto NRM Motivo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he said they were good in the rain and also in the dry, so that's what I wanted to stick with because we are approaching March, April, and that's when it usually rains a lot, so. All right, guys, so got the tires put on. Um, we're gonna go to Mexico real quick to get a little, a little speed in and see how she feels. Those skid marks, those are not mine. Let's see how she does. All right, that wasn't bad. Freaking Lexi, I might have got up to like 50. <laughs> and then I'll just get some quick shots of them outside with some like music and stuff. Okay, so the wheels that I got for this car were the Avid 1 AV6, AV06 wheels. Uh, I did go with 18 and eight and a half on the front with a uh, 35 offset. And then in the rear, I believe it was a uh, 18 by nine and a half, 32 offset. So very flush fitment. Yes, in the front, it is a little bit higher, but wheels don't really change that too much. Cause I gotta, technically I just gotta get like coilovers or lowering springs for that. And also I put those on the new tires. So we got new tires, new wheels. Um, let me just stop blabbering and just show you the wheels. Yeah, that's the wheel setup on my IS350. Yeah, so on the front, I don't know if I mentioned those, we do have 225 40 R18, rear 255 40 R18 as well. Uh, it's a very flush design. I mean, you can see for yourself, the rear is pretty flush with the body, and so is the front. There's a nice way of showing how flush it looks. Yeah, if you have a black car, I highly recommend going with bronze if you don't want white or black on black. I'm, I mean, I've already had black wheels on my Lexus size 250, but that car was silver. So now I wanted to go a little spicy and hit them with the... Hit them with the... So yeah, I didn't want it to be too blacked out. Bronze, just... Looks good, I love it. Let me know what y'all think about it. Comment section below. Let me know if you wanna see some tire letters on her. Uh, if so, what, what kind of tire letters? What should they say? But yeah, like I said in this video, tires are good at a roll, not at a dig. I would need some slicks for a dig. But yeah, she looks good. Yeah guys, thanks for watching the video as always. Keep it sexy.